What is up everybody, Holden here today and we're gonna be setting up the ProLab. So we're just gonna break down all the components that go into one ProLab. So we have our bus bar, we have a power cord, a rack, a lid for the beaker, a sensor, a temperature sensor, our common um, cord, and then we have a titanium frame and depending on what kit you get and stuff, we have another video that goes a little more in depth into this, but um, we have a titanium frame with its anodes, and this one is specifically for electro cleaners, so we have just the stainless steel anodes on it. And then um, we are using a titanium screw because um, if you use other screws like steel or stainless steel, you could have problems potentially if you use those ones, so we just suggest using a titanium screw. And then we have our heated beaker. There is a non-heated beaker option. And then we have the base of the ProLab and then the ProLab tower itself. And then taped to this ProLab, we have these interconnect cables. All right, so we are going to attach this uh, tower to the base. And so these screws are usually just hand tightened into the tower. And then we're going to line up this index pin with this index hole. It should just slide right in. And then we're going to put that screw that we just took out and we can just start it and make sure it's going into the tower, just like that. And then we can get our screwdriver and we can tighten it all the way down. And we're just going to do this hand tight so it's not too tight and you're not going to be stripping anything. But that is how you attach the tower to the base of the ProLab. All right, so to set this up, we're going to put our beaker onto our base of our tower. And then for the frames, we need to put our temperature sensor in. And it's going to go on this left side, just in these little index holes. And that will go into the left side and just we're going to pull it down just a little bit. And then speaking a little more on this frame, these are pre-done when we send them out to you if you buy a ProLab tower kit. So that's the nice thing and the advantage of buying the ProLab tower kit. But if you are buying them separately, the number of anodes will depend on um, how much surface you're plating onto and just a bunch of other things. So. This tower is all set up for what we need, so we're just going to get our, um, our titanium frame and just push that into our beaker and it should sit nicely in there. And then we are going to unscrew this little thumb screw right here and we can slide our beaker onto it, or the titanium frame hole right there onto that and then we need to put this back on, just like that. And then as you are setting up your tower, we want to make sure everything is off. Like um, if you have a, a power strip, you want to make sure that's turned off. So when we're plugging in everything, it's not turning on and then the beaker's turning on and stuff. So um, we're just going to plug in our beaker and the power cord is not plugged in. So we're just going to plug that in right here into the side. And then for our temperature sensor, we can actually plug that into right here. So we'll plug our temperature sensor in while the tower is off. And then we can either put on our bus bar or we can just not put on our bus bar yet, depending on what you're doing. So for the bus bar, you can unscrew this little bus bar screw right here and screw it back in. Make sure that has a good connection. And the bus bar is now attached. And as you can see right here, our titanium frame is actually touching our bus bar and that is not good. We wanna make sure our titanium frame is pushed into the beaker and not touching anything that is um, connected to the black ports because it can cause problems with um, these two making a connection between positive and negative and getting really hot and potentially ruining the components in the ProLab tower. So now we can plug into our common. All right, so we can plug this into that little port where our bus bar goes in. And the good thing about this, when we put our racks in, we actually can clip this for an extra um, connection. But 
The advantage of also connecting it to our rack is sometimes this bus bar gets kind of dirty and it has buildup on it. So this is a good way to make sure you are getting the, the correct voltage and the proper voltage when you clip that onto your anode frame. And then if you're all done with your solutions and plating for the day, we have this nice cap that just fits on right here and it seals it so um, not a lot of evaporation happens when, you're, uh, when your solutions are just sitting there. So this tower is all set up other than just plugging in its power cord into the power strip, which I will do that in the end. All right, so now we're going to connect multiple towers together. So to do this, we're actually gonna get our interconnect cables on the side of our towers and just peel that piece of tape off. And then for the similar towers that have the same voltage that you want to be connected to the same voltage, you'll connect the red and the black wires to that tower. And then for all the towers, you're gonna to be connecting all the black wires together so they're all connected on the common but not connected on the red wire. So for example, the gold solution is going to have a different voltage than our electro clean and surface activator. So we're not going to connect it by the red wire. So to connect these wires, we'll just take off these little thumb screws on the side of our towers. And then we'll connect our black to our black and our red to our red. And then just push, put the little thumb screws back on, just like this. All right, and then once they're connected, you can push them together. And they should be connected in the back. And then for our gold, our surface activator to our gold, we don't want the voltage connected. So we'll take off the red lead because we don't want that just sitting on just sitting there and potentially touching something and shorting our circuit so now we'll connect the black common wire to the black little thumb screw on this side just like this And then we can slide these together. And now these, to these uh, towers are all connected through that black, and then these two towers are connected through the red. So these towers are all now set up to have the power supplies connected to them. All right, so now we're going to connect a power supply to the towers that are connected together. So on the back here, you have these two little thumb screws, and you can just unscrew those just a little bit. And then we're going to connect the red one to the red one, just like that, and the black one to the black one. And then these have those ring terminals on them. So we're gonna just connect those right here. So the red will go onto the red one and the black one will go onto to the black one. So just like that. And then I know some people, they want to have these wires that connect to your power supplies a little longer. And um, you can get other options off of our website that for longer, um, longer cables, like say if you want to put this up on a shelf or something and you want to keep it away from the tower, you can. And there's options on our website, but if you want to make them on your own, you can. And it, all it is is this wire is just 10 gauge wire and then the little ring terminals you see they're 12 to 10 gauge ring terminals and you can find those at any electric um, hardware store or just a hardware store or somewhere online you can find those so this power supply is now connected to these two towers which is nice because you can choose one voltage and it um, selects the voltage for these two towers. So these are both five volts or around five volts. So you can put five volts on that and it'll just be for these two towers. And now we're gonna move on to this gold tank and connecting the power supply to that. All right, so now we're going to be connecting the gold tower to a power supply. So we will just get the leads for that and we'll connect the black into the black one and the red into the red. 
And then same thing for the tower, just red right there and the black right there. And technically, um, we don't need these leads on these towers, so we can just um, take them off. So I would suggest taking off all your leads for your towers. Let's take these off real quick. And then we can just put these back on. And then you can just connect them, just like that. So now this power supply will be the 2.3 volts that's suggested for the gold. And it will only control this tower because it's not connected between these two. All right, so now we're going to be talking about the air tubing. And the air tubing goes down the right side of these little clear pieces. And so the best way to get these unconnected is actually to take off this little valve stem and just slide it down through these holes and it should just slide it down. And so when, if you ever get these not with your frame and you need to add them to your frame, you can just slide them up through these index holes just like this. And it should just be really smooth and easy just putting them up and through. And you want to be kind of careful because these little plastic pieces can break if you force stuff through them. All right, so now you'll just push your whole air tubing system up and through. And I usually just keep this little elbow piece just below that. And now we can put that into our beaker. And then we can just put the little valve stem right there. And then we can connect our beaker to our tower, just like this. And we'll connect our temperature sensor just on the left side. And this uh, air tubing goes on the right side in that little clip. And then we'll get our pump and it, you set it up where you have the little tubing that comes with it into this little brass nozzle. And then you can connect this multi-tube um, connection to the end of that. And we'll get our five foot tubing and we'll push that up into here just like that on that little valve. And so this little valve with the tubing will connect to our air supply, just like that. Now this beaker has an air agitation system connected to it. And the nice thing about these is it has multiple um, stations for separate air tubings. So you could have, if you had multiple stations that need air tubing, such as bright acid copper, copper strike, um, nickel. That's just some of them, that's not all of them. But you can connect another tower in between these two and have another station for air to go to that one. So now this whole station is all connected and then we'll go on to plugging everything in and talking a little bit about our temperature sensor. All right, so now we gotta plug in all of our towers and our power supplies into um, outlets and a good investment to get is a power strip because there's so many things you need to plug in. So we're first going to just plug in this, um, the power supply, we'll just plug that in and then we can plug in our first tower, which they're just little plugs on the back of the tower that you connect these power cables to. And then we need one for this tower. And just reach over, plug it in. And notice how this tower, the non-heated one, the beaker actually doesn't connect to the tower, but it has a heater outlet. And that reason is if you wanted to change out this solution, you can change it for a heated beaker and the tower still has that option to become a heated uh, beaker tower. So now we'll plug in our last tower. Just back here, you can see that main power plug. You can plug that into your power strip. And now our uh, power supply right here, we'll just plug it in. And now everything's connected. Okay, now we're gonna talk a little bit about the temperature controller on the tower. But first we need to unplug our heated beaker if it is a heated beaker tower from the tower itself. because. We don't want this beaker heating up without solution in it because it could cause problems. 
So right here, we're gonna just turn on our tower and then for setting this temperature controller, there's a little set button and you just push that and it'll be set to 110 degrees. And for example, this gold tower needs 100 degrees. So we'll set it down to that and then you just hit this set button again and it should stop flashing and then it'll tell you when it is working with that little red light right there. And then you'll fill your beaker up with solution and then to have it heated, you just plug in your heated beaker back into the tower and it should start heating up. All right, so I've set up this whole three station ProLab setup and I hope this video was helpful and answered a few questions if you had any. But if you do have more questions about setting this up or any information on our ProLab towers, uh, go to our website and at our tech email, you can ask questions there and we'll get back to you. So, so th thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.